Hello everybody. Let's enjoy the chest radiographs with Dr. Y. Today's session 22 Plural Tumors. I'm Dr. Y, chest radiologist, medical professor working in South Korea. Let's review the session 21 lung metastasis. There are three mechanisms, three pathophysiology. First, Let's look at the left one. Bilateral, symmetric, many variable sized, usually round, more dominant on the lower lung zone. Which mechanism, please? Yes, hematogenous. And second, Diffuse interstitial thickening, sometimes with a reticular nodular pattern. Which mechanism? Yes, lymphatic metastasis. Third, centrilobular nodules, tree in bird pattern. Which metastasis? Famous for lung adenocarcinoma. Yes, aerogenous spread. Let's start session 22, pleural tumors. A, primary pleural tumors. They are rare, it is less than 10%. A, mesothelial tumors, such as malignant mesothelioma, it is rare. B, mesenchymal tumors, such as solitary fibrous tumor or pleura, also rare. C. Lymphoproliferative disorders. Very, very rare. B. Secondary pleural tumors. Pleural metastasis. It is relatively common, more than 90%. Among them, the primary site is the lung cancer. Lung cancer is number one primary site of pleural metastasis. And then breast, ovarian, et al. First, malignant mesothelioma. It is highly malignant disease. Sometimes it is history of asbestos exposure. And among them, crystallite is the most notorious asbestos fiber. Common findings are pleural effusion, diffuse or nodular pleural thickening or mass, and pleural plaques. We sometimes see asbestos-related pleural plaque of holly leaf opacity. We usually see frozen mediastinum. The mediastinum is frozen in the middle of the thorax, not shifted to one side, not deviated to one side. It is also difficult to differentiate from metastasis. Plural metastasis is difficult to differentiate from malignant mesothelioma. The second tumor, the solitary fibrous tumor pleura. It is usually benign. Benign tumor is four times more than malignant form. And visceral origin is also four times more than parietal pleural origin. It is pleural-based tumor, and sometimes we see calcifications and heterogeneous enhancement on the contrast CT. Sometimes we find stuck, and sometimes the movement of the tumor according to the patient position. Sometimes we see the clubbing, hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. Pleural metastasis. Pleural metastasis is the most common malignant pleural disease and most important disease of the pleura. Adenocarcinoma is the number one cell type of pleural metastasis. Among the primary sites, lung cancer is number one site of a primary tumor of pleural metastasis and then breast cancer. Sometimes invasive thymoma shows us 
drop metastasis along the pleura. Pleural effusion is the most common findings, and sometimes we find diffuse and focal nodules along the pleura. FTG uptake on the PET CT is famous findings. It has high sensitivity, high specificity. Let's travel into the chest radiographic findings of pleural tumors. What do we see? A very, very bizarre shaped, huge mass all along, all plural based masses here. Mediastinal based, lower based plural masses. Except this nodule, just regard the left side normal, normal. Please compare the right side findings with left normal side. Yes, very dense. Very dense means large amount of cancer cells, large tumor, very dense, medial irregular margined, high density, plural based mass, extensive mass. Although tumor is extensive, mediastinum is, looks just fixed, not shifted to one side, just in the middle of the mediastinum. We say sometimes this as frozen mediastinum sign. That means mediastinum is fixed by the malignant tumors. This is coronal CT images. How extensive of the plural based tumors? How solid on the right side plural based tumors are? In this actual contrast enhanced CT, we also see the extensive plural based, not lung based, plurally broadly based tumors with very solid with enhancement of plural malignant tumors. This is malignant mesothelioma, sarcomatoid type, and we design a frozen mediastinum. Let's look at the coronal MIP images. This is hot, and the left side is almost black. This is normal. How about right side of plural? Diffuse heart uptake. Diffuse heart uptake with some focal uptakes here. Diffuse heart uptake means usually means plural involvement. Look at the corona and look at the actual PET images. Diffuse heart uptake in the extensive solid tumor mass. This is PET CT findings of plural involvement. How about this chest radiograph? We see some mass, about 3 cm mass here in the right perhyla area. How about the hyla structure? Yes, pulmonary arteries looking good, not overwrapped with the mass density. So this mass is not in contact with hilum, not hyla origin. Yes. Actual non-contrast and contrast in NCT. Not in hyla contact, it is in anterior portion of chest wall or pleura. Plurally broad based tumor, well defined homogeneous density tumor. This is pleural or extra pleural origin. And mild diffuse contrast enhancement, not so characteristic. So with these CT findings, we may say plural based slightly enhancing solid tumor. Yes, this is solitary fibrous tumor of plural. What's wrong with this chest radiograph? Okay, let's begin with the normal side. Which side is normal? Yes, right side is normal. We know what is normal. And what is normal hilum? We know. Yes. Then what is abnormal on the left side? 
Hyla density is gone. There is a high density, irregular margin density. This is left hyla adenocarcinoma. And how about the aortic lap margin, left heart border, or obliterated with many nodules, and especially apical area is broadly thickened with something, not translate. Yes. These two films are actual contrast enhanced CT and PET CT images. Same plane. Yes. Let's look at the left apex. This is enhancing irregular margin broadly plural based tumor. Yes. Plural seeding, plural metastasis, and loculated plural fluid, probably malignant fluid. Yes. Let's look at the PET CT. The plural mass shows FTG pet uptake, glucose metabolism. Fluid shows no significant opacity, but plural base shows a little opacity, suggesting malignancy. And this is 2R lymph node heart uptake. Yes, this is lymph node metastasis. Lymph node metastasis. Plural based diffuse plural metastasis from left hyla lung cancer. How about this radiograph? What do we see? Let's presume left side is normal. Yes, left lung is normal. In that assumption, let's move to the right side. What's wrong? Total even density of haziness with round air density, no air bronchogram. What this means? Collapse, yes, airway collapse. And no right side hot border. What this mean? All field around the hot border. We don't see the diaphragm, yes. All field with diffuse homogeneous density material. What is that? And look at the trachea and heart, slightly deviated to the left side, slightly, yes. How about this contrast enhanced axial CT? We found a huge amount of pro fluid and total collapse of right lung and mass in the collapsed right middle lobe that was confirmed as adenocarcinoma. What do we see here? Yes, this is plural mass, soft tissue mass of plural metastasis. This is also the plural metastasis. Adenocarcinoma of the lung with ipsilateral plural metastasis. What do we see? Surely we remember this film. Yes. It was here before, yes, bilateral, innumerable, small, variable sized hematogenous metastasis nodules with plural effusion, plural effusion, yes. Bilateral plural effusion, plural metastatic nodules, lymph node metastasis, lung metastasis, from the uterine cervix cancer. Plural metastasis is usually not alone, usually has company, such as lung and lymph node metastasis, when the primary tumor is from the outside. How about this radiograph? Broad-based plurally or extraplurally broad-based on the medial side, well-defined, well-defined margin. We say plural, extraplural sign. It means this is not a lung origin lesion. Yes, plural or extraplural sign. What is this?
Look at her subcutaneous fat density here and abdominal fat density here. Same density. Yes, this is plural life poma, plural based tumor. Sometimes we meet this kind of benign tumor. Yes, thank you for your efforts. We finished session 22, plural tumors. And medical exam case for number five, the answer is progressive massive fibrosis and pneumoconiosis. Are you correct? Good job and congratulations. Medical exam case number six, HIV positive patient with bilateral diffuse GGO of pneumonia. The answer is pneumocystis gyrovach pneumonia. We used to name it PCP. Medical exam case number seven, which lobe is collapsed? Answer please. Medical exam case number eight, he used to be a heavy smoker. Diagnosis please. Like, subscribe will be a big support to me. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day.